Here's how we flew our family of five to Disney World and back for basically free. I want to make it clear that I'm not getting paid anything by any company. I just wanted to do you guys a favor by sharing some tips that we learned on going to Disney World, but this could basically work for any trip that you take around the United States. The first thing you're going to want to do is apply for a Southwest Airlines Rapid Rewards Visa Plus card. Now this will come with an offer for 40, 50, 60,000 points depending on when you're watching this video. To access that offer, you have to spend about $2,000 in the first three months of having the card and then you'll get those points automatically added to your account. Now stay with me here because later on in this video I'm going to tell you why the amount of points are so important and it goes beyond just accruing amount of points for a flight. Your next step is to apply for the Southwest Airlines Rapid Rewards Premier Card. This is a completely separate card. Now this will also come with an offer for 40, 50 or 60,000 bonus points depending on when you're watching the video and you'll also need to spend a certain amount, currently it's about $2,000 in the first three months. The great thing is, is that those points will all go into one bucket for the two cards and so if you got 60,000 points for the first card and 60,000 points for the second card, those will all go into one bucket for 120,000 points. That amount is really, really important you're going to want to listen to understand why. I highly recommend only using the credit cards for purchases that you're already planning on making. So you can set up automatic online payments for utilities, internet, things like that and you'll be surprised about how fast you will rack up the amount to get to that threshold to get the bonus points. Now here's where it gets really interesting because there's another bonus offer that you can unlock that Southwest has available to you. This is called the Companion Pass. Now the great thing about the Companion Pass is that you can have someone that you designate fly with you for free. Whenever you buy a ticket or use rewards points for a ticket, that person can fly with you as long as it's on the same flight. Now, I know that you may have heard of some of these before that you could use once or twice, but the thing about the Southwest Companion Pass is that you can use it throughout the rest of the calendar year in which you get it, plus the following calendar year. So that could be like a year and a half of free flights. Now it's worth noting at this point that there is a small annual fee on each of these cards, but especially with the companion pass, it more than pays for itself and offsets that cost. Now currently you have to accrue 110,000 points on your Rapid Rewards account. So let's do the math. You got 60,000 points from your first card, you have 60,000 points from your second card, that's 120,000 points. You are there already just by spending a little bit of money on things that you were already going to buy anyway. Now your next question at this point should be, well, how many points does it cost to fly to Disney World or Disneyland, wherever you want to take your family? For my family, a family of five, it costs about 15,000 points per person for a round trip flight from Oklahoma City to Orlando. Now obviously that amount is going to change depending on where you're flying from, what day you're flying on, what time of day, you get the picture. Now, if you're doing your math right now, you realize we still have about 60,000 bonus points left plus our companion pass, which means we can take another trip. If there's a place I don't want to go with my wife, we can go there. We have all these in our account still that we haven't spent. So to wrap it up, you apply for the Southwest Plus card, then you apply for the Southwest Premier card. You get 60,000 points for each. You add those together for 120,000 points for your family, and you have your companion pass that is good for over a year. Remember, I'm not getting any money from Southwest or any other company. This is just us passing on some money-saving tips to you, so hopefully you can save thousands of dollars on airline flights for your family, just like we did. Now, also, there's one more bonus thing that you need to know. Now if you're like me, you are a little bit nervous about signing too early and missing out on the best deal. Well here's what happened to us. We actually signed up for the card when it was 40,000 bonus points. And then a few weeks later it jumped up to 60,000 bonus points. And so at first we thought we missed out on those 20,000 points. Well I called up the credit card and asked if they would help us out in this situation. They were more than happy to work with us on it and get us those extra 20,000 bonus points. So don't forget to do that so you don't miss out on the best deal. Thanks for tuning in and remember to go to my blog lunchboxdad.com for more details and a lot of other fun parenting tips. And remember to share this video with any of your friends who enjoy traveling and saving money.